Welcome back to the Grand Tour of Switzerland. My name is Olivier and in this episode, we are here in Montreux in the French speaking part of Switzerland here in Canton Gaulle. And in this episode, I want to show you some of the best things that you can do during springtime in Montreux. It can be excursions up to the mountains and also activities to enjoy the lake area. So if you're interested to find out more, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel and let's get going. And if it looks impressive from the outside, it's even more grand on the inside. So the word Xion actually comes from the Latin word of the rocks because it was a plain that is surrounded by rocks. And it was formed during the 12th century and taken over later by the Canton of Wu in the year 1798. It was used as a defense army and it was a historical site for over 200 years. And it's no surprise that this castle is the most visited historical site in the whole of Switzerland. Where I'm standing here right now is a pretty cool fact because it's actually the secret escape route for the Duke of Savoy in the event that there is an attack. So there will be a boat that will be parked here ready for his escape and he's going to come down to this uh, dungeon and basement and this is the route for him to escape out into the mountains. prisoner who lived right inside this dungeon and his name is called Francois Bonivar. He was one of the political prisoners that was captured by the Duke of Savoy and he lived here for a period of six years and there was actually a pillar where he is chained to. Let's go take a look. I know it's that one. <laughs> It's a bed for two persons. This is how small, how tiny they were in the past. When, when, when they, when they <laughs> Another activity that I'll recommend you to do when you're in Montreux is to take a walk down the promenade all the way to the Chillon Castle. Now it's a very long stretch starting from Verde all the way to the Chillon Castle which is a total of 6 miles long but you can start from the Montreux train, train station and it will take you about 30 minutes and this is one of the most beautiful promenades that you can find in French speaking Switzerland and it's a free activity as well so you might as well spend your time walking along this beautiful part of Switzerland. I've been spamming just so much videos. I, I just can't seem to reach my end point because I keep stopping to take pictures. So that tall building was where I started. So I'm like about halfway point. And I'm actually walking towards the castle. And you can see it from here. I think I have about 20 minutes more. of the river promenade in Montreux, you will see this very very famous bronze statue and in case you're wondering who this person is, he's none other than Freddie Mercury. Some of you may recognize him as the lead vocalist of the band Queen. 
Now, why is he doing here in Montreux? Well, if you did not know, actually, Freddy lived here in Montreux for a big part of his life, and this was also where he recorded most of his studio albums until his death in 1991. So this big square that you see right now, it might look empty now but in fact this is where the annual Christmas market takes place here in Montreux and it's one of the largest Christmas markets you can find in Switzerland. It's really nice to come down in December. If you miss out during the summertime, don't worry, I think winter is a really nice time to come to Montreux as well. And on the weekends, and I think on every Friday, sorry, they also have the weekend market along this promenade stretch. So also something to consider when you're here. Now many of you may know about the Freddie Mercury statue that is right at the promenade but did you know that the recording studio is right here in Montreux as well? And this is actually also a free entrance which is something pretty rare in Switzerland and it's actually inside the Casino Barrier Montreux which we are going to check it out right now. Let's go! Ones of Patty's outfit. Isn't it cool? <gasps> so we're inside the actual recording studio where Queen, the band, recorded all of their songs. And this is a little bit of recording. One of the best things that you can do on the weekend is to come for a stroll around the Lavo Vignas. This is in fact one of Switzerland's most beautiful UNESCO heritage sites. And there's one reason why the wines grow so particularly well here. We call it the tree sun. So first, we have the sun itself and also the light reflected off the lake and as well as the heat that is emitted from the walled terraces. If you could take a look, you will see steep terraces and these are the reasons why um, the wines are able to be grown in such good conditions. And also there are many like little pretty villages around here, for example saint saint or right now we're in Puyi and there's also really just a lot of very pretty villages here. So do go check them out and have some wine there. Now we're inside the Union Vinicor de Cuyi and this is where you can have samplings of the wines that are grown locally in the vineyards here. So right now I have here um, the Chasla and also the Jose and the Pinot Noir. And when you come to Switzerland, it is really a must to buy or to tr at least try some of the wines here because Swiss wines are rarely exported. Only 1% is being exported and the rest are all drunk by the Swiss themselves. So this is really a rare opportunity when you're in Switzerland to try some of the wines that they grow right here. It's very, very popular. Look at the views here, it's just so amazing. We have the vineyards right in front of you and the French Alps. Good morning, it's day two of our trip and we're doing a day trip to Bave, which is just one stop away from Montreux. So it's a good idea when you have time to go around the region. So when you stay in any hotels in Montreux, they will provide you with the Montreux Riviera card and this gives you free transport around the region. So do request it from your reception desk for the transport card.
of the Alimentarium is a food museum that is by the Nestle Foundation and we're gonna go inside to check out and learn more about food and nutrition. Let's go! So this guy here, he's the one that is called Julius Maggi and he created the Maggi condiment. So all your Maggi Mi that you eat today is because of this man. There's a temporary exhibition now. It's on the theme of veganism. So pretty interesting if you want to learn more about what does being vegan means and one of the, some of the campaigns messages about veganism. first stop at Montreux and it goes multiple stops all the way up to this end stop at Pochezine. springtime and there will be some nice green fields to hike but unfortunately it's still winter so this ground is still covered in snow we can't really walk but thank god we wore our snow boots so it's still okay in the snow but the views is still quite nice here i don't know what is the name of the mountains here do you know what's the name of this mountain this one it might be the don du i will check out yeah <laughs> And that's the end of my trip in Montreux. Let me know which was your favorite activity. And I really hope that you will have time to visit this beautiful part in the Swiss Riviera. I hope you liked and enjoyed this video. And if so, please like and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!